The sensibility in Voyage of Temptation, which is where these assassin droids show up, was I wanted the coronet to be like this Titanic in space. You know, opulent and rich feeling and very regal in the upper decks. And I wanted it to be like Alien with these tight shots and creepy shots and beams of light down in the lower decks. All secure here. Let's move on to the next sector. I noticed there was a couple things that we could do in the editing room with R2-D2. And I thought, well, people like R2. Let's take R2. We'll make him like a little prankster. <laughs> Stop messing around. And then the clone turns and BAM! <laughs> and then you cut upstairs and they're having dinner. You know, you, you, you want to work those contrasts when you're editing the story. Another image that I knew I really wanted in this episode was I thought, wouldn't it just be terrible if the spider droid has this clone puppet? It? The animators did this great job where the clone's just kind of walking forward like this. And Anakin's like, Red Eye? And you just know, you're just like, oh no, it's not Red Eye, it's not Red Eye, it's not Red Eye. And Archie's like, eh, it's not Red Eye. The assassin droid itself, I, I wanted it to be like a big spider. It was like a more aggressive version of the probe droid from Empire Strikes Back. And so the core of it had all these many eyes, like spider eyes. And then on top of it, there's all these little holes where you could have these little guys that pop out. Oh, look how cute. Pop, 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 pop. Until there are like a hundred of them and they're scurrying up the clone's legs and up into the clone helmet. Get it off! I can't get it off. I mean, that's, that's scary stuff. Spiders are scary. I'm not, not a big fan.